How to fix exception access violation error on your Windows 10 or 11. Hello everyone and let's get started. On this video, we will discuss some of the methods by which we can fix this exception access error. So the first one is checking PC for any kind of malware. So for that, right click on the start button and go to settings. After that, click on privacy and security. Now on the first option which says Windows security. Tap on virus and threat protection. Then after tap on quick scan. This way you will know any kind of violation error or any issue which is on the PC or the program itself. Moving on to the second solution, it is adding data execution prevention. So for that, tap on the search bar and then search for view standard system properties. Then after you will see this tab. Tap on advanced and then inside performance select on the settings button. Now in this another tab, you will see the option of data execution prevention. Click on it and then click on second option which says turn on DEP to all programs and services except some. So now tap on it and then click on add. In this next tab, you have to select all the .exe file by typing in the file name here on the given space and then click on open and then on apply and ok. For the third solution, we have disable user account control. So for that, go to control panel and once you have opened it, go to users account. Now from the list, select on change user account control settings. Once you click on it, you will land to another page. From here, you have to scroll down the slider to the bottom and then you will get the option of never get notified. Click on ok and you are good to go. The next two steps that you can also apply is make sure that you have removed the read only option on the problematic application or program and similarly you have to use compatibility mode as well. The next option that you can apply is using the troubleshooter. For that you can simply click on the search bar and search for the troubleshooter. After that you can click on other troubleshooters and then you will have to search for this particular option which says program compatibility troubleshooter. Click on run and it is good to go. So that is it for today's video. For more such contents, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you and keep watching.